Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions here on Varan channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. Um, it's been a while we, we talked to you. I hope you've been doing very well. Today we are just going to make a short video on Sofa and then we are going to show you how to get um, different kinds of map. You know, on um, one of our previous videos, we tried to show you how to plot contour on um, Sofa and then and possibly export it to AutoCAD. So um, the link to that video will be on the description section where you can actually watch it if you've not seen that video. But today we are still going to use that big file to do what to maybe create another plan or maybe yeah another map rather. So yeah create another kind or some other kinds of map on software. So without spending much time let's get into the business of the day. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to assess this um, this tool called map, right? Good. Then you come to new and then you decide to sorry you come to map and then you come to new and then you decide to come to any of these other maps. But um, today we are going to look at the 3D wireframe and the 3D surface and then I think that's all. The reason why I want us to look at that is that most of the times we present our work or maybe our maybe job or maybe the, the, the information we like data, present our information in this kind of map. So that's why I just want us to go through like an eye opener for us to see that it's not only a photo map you can get. So for just um, the sake of knowing what the 3D wireframe is, the 3D wireframe, actually from Google, um, the 3D wireframe model is an edge of a skeletal representation of a real world object. So really what they are trying to say is that the contour map you see, the 3D wireframe tries to put it in three dimensions so that it appears like it is real. So by the time we plot it, you will see how, how it will come up. So the first thing is that let's see the 3D wireframe, so you know what to click on it. And then it will take you to the folder where you stored your grid file. So you just click on the grid file and then you do what you do. So this is how what the 3D wireframe will appear. So you see that this um, like the elevation from the ground up to where each of the points are on the surface. Hope you can just see we have um, 26, 28, and 10. So they were on intervals of um, 2 meters and then I think the highest is above, a little bit above 10. By the time you perform some analysis, you see that um, some of the heights might be maybe around 30 or 31 or 32. But it's actually the interpolation that the software was the software generated for this particular kind of map. Remember on that video, we only dealt with quantum map. So that's why I just want us to see that it's the only quantum map we can have from what from our grid file. Now the next thing we want to see is that we still come to map, we come to new, remember that's how we went, and then we come to 3D surface. Now the both of them can actually maybe be alike or as the case may be, but by the time we come up with it, you will see that um, there is actually a little difference on how maybe a little difference on how what how it is or how it appears. A 3D surface graph is designed to display data points using shading, color, and multiple dimensions. So I think the most important difference there is what the color. By the time we plot it, you will see that you have different shades of color, maybe different shadings, color, shades of color, different shadings, colors, and dimensions that will do what that we used to maybe present the 3D surface. So we click on it as well. Then we are still using that same grid file we created on the last video, and then we see what we see today. What oh, so you see how it appears now. This is actually the 3D um, surface of this 3D what of this 3D wireframe, and these two are actually the 3D surface and 3D wireframe of the contour we got of the contour we plotted on that last video. So if you've not seen the video, the description is on the, the link to the video is on the description section. 
very internationally was very internationally accepted. So as I said earlier, today's video will be very short and then that's it. Yeah. It's powerful. Yeah, because it has been able to tell you that you don't have only quantum maps. So yeah, thanks for coming to class. I hope you've um, provided solution to this particular problem problem. I hope to see you again on the next video and until then make sure you keep staying safe and then keep being a good dramatic. Have a nice time. Bye.